world driven by technology. NN Code provides cutting-edge AI solutions tailored for small... Let's see how we can create the designs of a computer vision software system with this design AI agent from LoveArc. We're going to go over all the individual steps, both how we can do the designs of our business, the company that we're going to set up, all the branding, styling, and so on, but also the wireframes of our actual software system. So let's just jump straight into the Love Art platform and go into some of the examples, and we're going to set up a whole business. I'm also going to show you how we can do designs in different areas and how we can use it to just get ideas, get some initial designs, iterate with it, and basically create the whole suite of designs that you need to set up a business, presentation, or whatever you're doing. So to have all the newest models out there for all the different modalities, image generation, video generation, even good transcription, just text generation as well with the OpenAI GPT-03 models. They have the InGem, they have the Flux models and all that, Kling AI for video generation. So to have the newest state-of-the-art models, you're going to choose which of the models you want to use and then combine all of them to go in and create your designs. So if we take a look at the platform here, Love Art is still in beta. I've gotten exclusive access for this video here. Again, access codes will be down in the description as well. So you can test out the platform and basically just have this AI design agent. So Love Art is the world's first AI design agent that can do all these different modalities, aspects, and so on. And just within five days of launch, like hundreds of users from 70 plus countries have act like already gotten access to the platform and as you can see here, it's a very intuitive interface. And now we're going to go into some details and see how we can actually like build out the projects. But make sure, check it down in the description, go in, try it out yourself and see what it's capable of doing. So here you can just go in, ask it to generate images, designs, mockups, wireframes for your software system and so on. Or if you just create designs, presentation, and so on, it can also do that. I already have some examples that we're going to run through, but you can also just create a brand new project down here. It can do web search. You can upload different types of references. If you have screenshots, documents, and so on, let's say that you have some Figma designs, you can paste them in here. Then it can actually go in and do designs. You can make changes to that, go into details and have a multi-turn conversation with the AI design agent to have. So this is pretty much the interface very intuitive you can even share the links you can share all the designs and all of that as i'll show in just a second so the first prompt here that we can just throw into it pretty much is i want to create a template for or design template for my ai career program so i've just pasted in the prompt here this is a very long prompt what i'm using to do prompting is basically just other different transcription tools so i press a button then i basically just tell the system, tell the AI agents what to do because then it becomes way more detailed. And the most important thing when we're working with AI agents, large language models and all that is the context that we give it. So when you're working with Love Art AI here, the more context that you can give it, the more examples and, and all that detailed descriptions, the better the results you're going to get as well. Then it's basically just iterating back and forth. It is with a human in the loop. You're in control of the system and then it's just making you more efficient, making you iterate faster, but also come up with way cooler designs. So we have a lot of templates for website designs. Oh, this is not the first. So I want to come up with a design template for my AI career program. It covers everything from scratch. Whether you want to transition your career path from a software developer into the AI world or start off from scratch. So I just have this very detailed prompt here describing what is my AI career program and all that. And then we can go in and see what it can actually come up with. So if we go into my website, we can also just take, it's very good to give it context, give it screenshots and all that. So let me see the AI career program. I want it to have a similar style like this. Let me take a screenshot of just the front page. Then we can go inside Love Art. We can just paste in the screenshot directly. There we go. Now it's uploading the screenshot. So if you have more designs, you have some hand, even hand drawings, you can just drop them in here and the model will be able to understand what you have. Internet search, you can use a specific style as well. So here you can choose if you have a branding style that you want to set up for your company and so on. Maybe just an, as an example, I have the other ones other projects that is already running that we can take a look at. So let's maybe just create this in a in a comic style. You can choose the style as well. You can add more images and all that. And here you can do custom mode. So design for exploring multiple models. 
This is all the models that I mentioned in the introduction as well. Image one, advanced image model from OpenAI. Flux context here. They even have the video model as well. So Gemini VO, Runway Gen 4, Kling, very good model for generating videos. Basically just based on a prompt as well. Even some 3D model generator supported. So they have everything in here, all the models. You don't need to go to different websites, go to Stable Diffusion, go to Gemini, go all these different places. Here we have one centralized platform where all the new models, they will get updated and available in here in the design agent. So right now it's just paste in the prompt. It will go through all of it thinking. Sometimes it takes five, seven, 10 minutes to generate all the designs because it's running all these models. It's doing all the thinking process, coming up with the correct design style. So yeah, prompt the system, go grab a coffee, come back again, and you have your designs ready to go. And then you can just iterate with it back and forth while you're having your coffee pretty much. So it'll just take some time. It analyzes the image. It will generate the initial stuff, but this is the main idea behind LoveArt. If we go back again to our homepage while it's generating here, then we can see I had some other examples. So I want to set up a full AI consulting business as well, where we want to generate some sales material, want to generate some videos, initial designs, and all that. This is pretty much everything here. So we're going to set up AI consulting business software system with computer vision. We want to create a software system as well, the wireframes for our act like software that we're going to sell. So the first stuff here, you can go in and replay it. You can see all the prompts here that I have been going through. It's very important to iterate with these AI agents. You know it if you're doing coding, if you're just using OpenAI and so on, ChatGPT on a daily basis. So one is not a new consulting company that does AI solutions and full-scale software systems. Again, a very detailed prompt with a lot of context. So first of all, it goes in, ask follow-up questions here. So it comes with a request. What is the name of our AI consulting company? What specific industry or market segment will your AI consulting company primarily serve? I give it the answers to the follow-up questions and then it's actually like going ahead, generating the initial designs. So use the ChatGPT for generating the images. This is the logo, logos that it's coming up with. I really like this logo here. So I continue with that one. It even gives me options to go in, choose the specific one. So here, Again, it just gives me a request. It's back and forth, human in the loop together with the AI agent. So it even feels like a pretty natural flow. This is the direction where it's heading and it's already here. And it's still in beta, so it's only going to get better. Make sure that you try it out. So then it asked me, what logo do you want to go with? I like the fourth logo the most. I would like to pick option four. And then it actually goes through and creates my initial branding kit. So this is all the different wireframes or mockups for my front page, my sales page, basically just my main page for my AI consulting company or my business, even a phone app here. I ask it specifically to come up with that. So we both have web version, mobile version. It comes up with all the individual pages. So again, then you can go in. I want to generate more pages from my website. So we just have the home page, but I want to have a detailed view with both the home section, about me section, the different services that we're going to provide in our AI consulting business. Then after we have all the sales stuff done or pretty much just our website for AI consulting business, I also asked it to come up with a computer vision software system. So we want to have live streaming where we can see all the detections that we are getting from our live stream with update detection, tracking and detecting different objects. This is the main part, just seeing what are the computer vision models act like detecting in this live stream tab. Then we want to have another tab, which is the analytics tab, where we're going to see what, how many objects are we detecting? What is the object distribution type? So how many people, cars and all that are we detecting? So this is the directly mockups that we can take, throw it into some other platform or throw it into cursor, chat GPT, and act like have it generate the code for us in React. Then most of that, even if you're using cloud code and so on, if you just take these two screenshots here, it can act like build most of the system for this basic computer vision software system. Then at the end here, I wanted to generate some more wireframes or basically just comes up with some sales material that I can use and also just a sales video with B-rolls. 
and it can generate videos as well with voiceover. Okay, so now we want to come up with a sales video. We have our material, we have our software system. Now we just want to have a video that we can send out there, basically just for explaining what are we doing at NN Code. So right now, I want to come up with a sales video for the AI consulting business with B-rolls and a sales script for voiceover. So then it will go out and generate a sales script with OpenAI. It will do text to speech. So we can see here that it goes in, generate some B-rolls. I ask it specifically for that. So it's going to use these B-rolls from the different office environments. We see we have some analytics, we can have some computer vision systems and so on. And then it acts like goes in and combines it to a video with the voiceover based on our sales script, talking about what is NN Code act like doing in our consulting business. We get the video, we can download the video, we can directly use it wherever we want, send it to clients, customers, investors, and so on. So let's just take a look at the video. In a world driven by technology, NN Code provides cutting edge AI solutions tailored for small to medium sized businesses. Our software systems are robust and scalable, designed to meet your unique business needs. Enhance customer service with intelligent chatbots that provide seamless interactions. Make informed decisions with real-time data analytics that give you the competitive edge. Empower your business with NN Code's comprehensive AI consulting services, from database integrations to advanced computer vision components. So here we can see it basically just creates everything end to end. We can keep on iterating with it, go back and forth and all that. Just pretty much just make it perfect. But now we have everything that we need to set up an initial consulting business, even wireframes that we can just feed into a model that can generate the actual code for us. This will take designers like engineers and all that it will take many days, if not weeks to come up with the exact same stuff here, especially like if you want to do some designing, it doesn't have to be perfect in the first run. We just need to have the human in the loop, which love art here does a very good job at it. Asks follow up questions. It asks what logo do you like? It comes back with questions that you need to answer. And then it basically just fine tunes it or dials it in toward what you really want. So another project here that I want to show you guys, is from our AI career program. So this is just a full consulting business, software system and so on. But even if I wanted to generate some different stylings, different, more modern, sleek designs from our AI career program, I can also go in and do that. So at the top here, I basically just gave it as we as we went over before, I had the screenshots of my AI career program, the very detailed prompt that I fed into the system. So if you just take a look at this AI career program and you want to share it with different people or you just want to publish it, you can publish it on Love Art, but you can also just share a link. Once you do that, you will actually get a playback link. So it goes through every single step that the human did, but also the AI design agent. And then it will show all the designs here step by step while it's generating the images. So this is kind of like a playback mode that you can see. So this is very good if you just send the link to someone and they want to see like step by step how you went through it, but also just how it generated based on the inputs that you gave it. So here we have it just generating different pages for my AI career program, both covering all the technical courses that's in there how to level up your career, all the different front pages and so on. So this is could be useful if you want to come up with some new sales material or you want to set up like an AI career program. This is the first design that it came up with. This is with no context. And then down here at the bottom, I provided the screenshot of my existing website and told it to generate it more in that specific style or theme, especially for the colors, and then just make it more modern with better, with better icons and better visualizations. So this is also the reason why it's so important to give the AI models context, especially if you want to generate in your own style. And if you want to use this for something useful in your day to day work and so on, this is very important that we do. Context is everything here. This is what I wanted to show you guys, but also just the level of detail, the level of quality that it can come up with in just a few prompts. And remember, it has all the models, all the best models available out there, both for image generation, video generation, text generation, and then they're just combining all of it into a centralized platform here, which is your AI design agent. 
So I definitely encourage you to go down in the description here, grab some of the codes, get to go in, try it out yourself. This is in beta, I have exclusive access, but you can also get that by using my code. So we saw the style library, we have layer images, text editing, you can go in and act like edit the text in the designs as well. You can have the image generator up here at the top if you want to have a video generator. So then it will actually like pop up here in the viewer and you can just describe the pictures that you want. You can choose the specific style. Even if you have image references, it can generate it directly in here. If you just want to generate one specific image or videos or even just a frame itself where in the chatbot on the right side, it basically just generates whatever you ask it for, but more in a multitasking way or doing batches of work. So you do one prompt, it do, does multiple tasks in parallel, and then it gives you the results. If you want to have a bit more control, you can edit the text, you can use the tools here on the left side, but very intuitive interface. I'm definitely going to use this way more in the future for doing like initial designs, coming up with ideas for how I can build out a front end. Then I can take that, throw it into cursor or cloud code to build out the front end in React. This is very awesome. And I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy designing.